well fielded. Now they want Mark War off the ground. And I think my reaction, I've got to say, was that Mark War was out. Lehman has left. Will they call for a replay here? I agree totally. My initial reaction was that Darren Lehman had gone past Mark War. And Ganguly's quite right to ask, but I guess once the umpire's made a decision, Tinduka, Ganguly, they're all saying, hey, and Mark War's getting involved in the conversation. If I were Mark War, I'd be walking well away from this conversation because he could only lose. If they call for the third umpire, I would suggest that Mark War is in trouble. Now, the umpires are going to confer whether they can actually call for the replay green. Well, I mean, the, the object of the exercise here should be to get it right. This is actually a very significant point. It looks as if they're going to ask for it. There's been no signal here. So it may well be that we as a television company will be asked to um, supply some replays if possible here. Bear in mind that we haven't got any pictures or any cameras exactly square. We've got them in line with the stumps for the runouts. And this is where sometimes it's just a little bit unfair where um, we're expected to be the adjudicator here. This could be significant as David Hooks pointed out. He did say that uh, if Lehman was joined by a new batsman, well then it could make a bit of a difference. And Mark War, however, is still out there. Now then, did they cross? Now you've got to get uh, two things, you've got to bear two things in mind here. Where were the batsmen at the time the bales were taken off? So here we go. War says no. War, oh, he does go past him. He does go past him. Well, just looking at that replay, I would say War went past him. This could be interesting. Lehman may have to come all the way back out here. War was at him and said, no, I didn't go past him. So, um, well, the Indians come into play there and they say, I want a replay. That's the Indian captain. Now, this is from sideways on. This will tell us the story. Here goes Lehman. The question is, what, what happens? We see the bales. The bales go off. There's no uh, batsman in play there. <laughs> There's no doubt someone's out. Well, let's have a look if this angle gives us anything. Your view, David? Oh, look, Mark Ward, from the naked eye, he went past. And in this situation, from this angle here, will tell you that Mark Ward has gone past. Now, whether he thinks it is a two-dimensional picture with a three-dimensional situation, it, that may be the only thing. But look at the shadow of Lehman, will tell you. The shadow of Lehman and Mark Ward has clearly gone past that shadow. So that's why Mark Ward, I felt, had to stay out of the argument. Darren Lehman... Very much a team-orientated decision. He's just walked straight off. Yes, I think that's what he's done. But I think you're looking at the shadows there. Let's just watch the ball come in. This is going backwards. Now we've got to go forwards and just have a look to see exactly where they get to here. Now the ball's coming in. Watch the shadows. They leak equal there. And does they, do they go on? A little bit further on. The ball's coming in. Mark Ward now into a position where his legs come together. There's no doubt in my mind that Mark War is the man out there looking at it at that angle. Very close, mind you. <laughs> well, pretty tough for the third umpire to make a definitive. With the angle of parallax law, I guess he had to make that decision, but it looked as though he'd gone past. And, well, Darren Lehman has done the absolute right thing. He just scooted off the ground. should mention also that the umpires in the middle didn't make the third umpire signal Greg, did they? That is, picked up their walkie-talkies Well, I mean uh, sure, they didn't make the single signal but they did ask the third uh, umpire, there's no doubt about that and